This next stitch is called Hungarian grounding and it's going to go in a large rectangle just here so that we're left with a more or less a square. And I'm going to use my ruler later on to make sure that I don't go any further than the, the line I need to. In my needle, I've got the pale green crawl wool. I've got three strands of, two strands of dark yellow and three strands of the pale yellow. So I've got an equivalent of eight in my needle. So the first few stitches are going to go over four threads. I'm starting in the top left hand corner here. And I've just realized I haven't filled that little corner in, but I can do that later on. So I'm going to go with four threads. And then you go up one, sorry, down one, I should say. So across one hole, and then again over four threads. This stitch is often done vertically, but I like it horizontally. I think it's good for water. So the third one goes up again, and then we're going back down. And that's your first little block as such. And then we just repeat that whole thing again. We're going to carry on like this until we get to the bottom. And to make sure I don't go any farther than I need to, I've got my ruler here. I think that will be my last stitch. And then we're going to go back the other way, but we're going to do smaller stitches. So going back up the other way, we're going to do smaller stitches. And we're going to do them over two threads, but we're missing the one that's furthest over to the right. So we're just going to do one and then we're going to do actually two stitches on the one that's furthest to the left. So there's a little sort of trio of stitches there. And then again, one stitch on that next one. So you've got four little stitches like a diamond shape fitting in there. Miss the next one. And then you're doing your four again. One. Two. Three. Four. Miss the next one. A stitch over two. One, so you're fitting that little diamond shape in each time. And on this final one, I can't do four stitches, so I just stop obviously there.
Okay. Now we will have to do some filling in with little stitches down this left hand side. But let me just show you the next bit. So we're now going to fit in the longer stitches again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So come up here and go down. And then this time they go the other way. And you're not missing anything this time. You're just going in exactly the opposite way to the first row. So make sure each stitch is over four threads. And I am running out of thread. So I'm going to change the shades, I think, a little bit, not much. And I will return and show you what I've done. I've replaced um, my darker yellow. I've got three uh, greens, three stranded cotton greens and still the pale green cruel wool and a couple of strands of the pale yellow. So this stitch that we left now is a stitch over four. And then going back up, you're doing your two stitches first this time. So anywhere where there are two, four stitches where there are two stitches over four threads together, you do two stitches over two threads together. So the next one is the top of the diamond and the one that protrudes furthest you leave. And then you want a one stitch. A two stitch, because I've got two stitches over four threads together, so I want two stitches over two threads together and a one like that. It does take a bit of just thinking through, um, but it's it's actually one of my favorite stitches. It's really nice to work once you get going with it. And now here, we have one over four, and that's the next row because that's the one that you left. And you're going this way. Now I introduced um, some brown got some green and still and a couple of browns so I'm going to do a little diamond there one because this one at the end will have a stitch over four threads on the following row And miss one. I'm coming to the end of this block now and I gradually took away the brown and I used a strand of each of the cruel wools 
and then just the green, a couple of strands of green. And now right at the end, I've got two of the green cruel walls and I've put a couple of strands of yellow back in. Now we need to just watch that we don't go any further than we need to on here. So it's basically filling in. Instead of a large stitch there, just do a small one. And then I'm going to do a stitch over one thread only. The same there. And this one would normally be a long stitch, but it's going to be shorter. And so on. And I need to do the same thing down the other side. So I'll just I'll just do that. And it's exactly the same. You just put little stitches in to meet the pattern just to fill in. That's the Hungarian grounding done and the final block is going to be the Florentine which is going to go into the square that's remaining. <laughs> 